hello everyone welcome to this uh, video in this video I am going to connect a uh, Django app to the MySQL database so to uh, to be able to uh, connect the Django app to the MySQL database first thing we need is a MySQL server so here I am using XAMP as a MySQL server so let me show you quickly XAMP okay so this is the XAMP control panel and here you can see uh, MySQL is provided so if you don't know about XAMPP or if you don't have XAMPP installed in your computer go ahead and download and install it in your computers so if you don't know how to do that then I have created a separate video for that you can go ahead and watch that video I'll link that video in the description okay so after that uh, you can start the MySQL and Apache here okay so before doing anything i'm going to create a django app sample django app here okay so let me open the command prompt here i'm going to use django admin start project let me call it as connect mysql okay connect mysql app is created successfully so uh, let me open that in the sublime text as you can see here the app is already opened in my sublime text so uh, before uh, setting up our mysql to our django app first we need to create the uh, my database table in mysql okay so let's go ahead and ssd localhost create my admin so by going to this url you can enter the admin panel of phmi admin for the mysql database so here i'm going to create one table let me call it as connect mysql demo okay so that the database is created the database do not have any table right now so we don't need to create any table by the time we migrate our uh, database settings from the django app all the data database table that is required are created automatically by the django app okay so we don't need to worry about this part so let me close this right now minimize this now to connect our django app to the mysql first go to mysql uh, sorry uh, django app and there is one file called settings.py into that file go to databases section okay here the django app uh, default by default use sqlite as a database now we need to make few changes here and add few things the first thing we need to change is change it from mysql to uh, sorry sqlite to mysql and the second thing we need is name that is database name so the my database name is uh, connect mysql demo connect that should be inside the quotes connect my sql demo okay now we need to give username of the database user in my case that is root we also need password okay that is blank in my case other thing we need is host address that is localhost that should also be inside quotes and the last thing we need is port address Okay, that in my case port address is 3325 okay so if you don't know your port address you can use the similar port name that port address that they given here by the exam control panel that could be 3306 or any other okay so these are settings required to connect our uh, Django app to the MySQL database so let's go ahead and uh, run this app and let's see if it is working or not python manage okay first i need to navigate inside this app now as you can see here managed qf file is present here let me quickly run this file run the server let's see if it is working or not okay as you can see here we don't have any errors so our database is successfully connected to the mysql our app is successfully connected to the MySQL database we still don't have any database table okay so 
to have the database table in our database we need to migrate the settings okay so let me to, uh, stop this server for a second and migrate the settings database settings okay migrate okay so all the settings are migrated to the database so let me show you table is created or not okay as you can see here 10 tables are created and that means we have successfully connected our Django app to the MySQL database now you can um, further develop your application as your as your requirements okay so that's it guys this is how you connect the Django app to the MySQL database so if you guys want me to create more videos on this Django 2.1 then let me know in the comments okay so uh, i i've been thinking of creating login registration and all other things that we can do with the mysql mysql using mysql in django app okay so let me know if you want me to create the more videos on this thank you guys for watching don't forget to subscribe for the more videos and hit that bell icon and see you in the next video bye